Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and it is a Tuesday, so you regulars know what that means. It is a 50-50 chance that there is an Unreal Engine giveaway today, and today, yes, there is. I guess I've got to stop saying Unreal Engine because this is a fab giveaway, and this month, actually, one of the three assets is also for the Unity Game Engine. Now, what we're doing is we are checking it out in action. This is the first asset in said collection. Uh, it is the post-apocalyptic city. Uh, so we're going to see uh, everything going on here. Obviously, is made by Bameshi Studios. Uh, see here, kind of a world that has uh, had better days. It's funny, whenever I see one of these levels, I always think of um, uh, the Division. It always feels like a Division level. Like, almost every single time, I swear, I've played this before, and it's the Division. It feels exactly like the Division. So uh, you get everything you see here. A pretty straightforward asset. Uh, Again, everything is highly modular for creating the environments you see here. Let's go take a quick look at the overview. So here are your assets uh, that go together to make this up. So again, a bunch of um, you know street barriers. We've got some plants. We've got some uh, signs to go on the streets. We've got uh, broken windows and doors, fencing, some generators, uh, some flooring, uh, various different, uh, again, other floor settings the interiors, and then we've got a couple of buildings, mostly for the backdrops. So here we go. Now, interestingly enough, I don't see the elevator. So I don't know where they got that elevator shaft from. It might be, oh, no, there it is. All right, here we go. And here's your elevator. So everything goes together to create the demo environment we just saw right there. You're creating a, a Division-esque game. Uh, this is a good pick up for you. This next one here is for uh, Unreal Engine and Unity. Uh, it is the Valley of something or other. I'll give you the full name in just a second. But let's go check out the demonstration of this one. It is, uh, again, another environment, uh, 3D environment. This one, you can go to the Fab in a store and actually uh, download the Unity asset version of it instead if you are using the Unity game engine. So it is what you see in front of you to create this uh, Valley of G something. Uh, so modular setup, kind of... Uh, dark Skyrim-esque looking environment. Uh, everything you see here, including some chewed up skeletons, particle effects, and so on. And again, this one is available for both Unity and Unreal Engine. I guess I should point out at this point in time, uh, these are all redeemed on the Fab Marketplace. You have two weeks. So basically you have until the end of February to pick this one up. The last Tuesday or two Tuesdays from now is when this will end. Uh, once they are yours, they are yours to keep forever. I will show you the process of getting them in just a second. Let's quickly show you the... Uh, Preview, I think, is the other one. There you go. So this is what I used for the thumbnail for this video. All of these assets, again, modular, go together to create the uh, castle-type environment we just saw. And the difference with this one is it is available for Unity as well as Unreal Engine. Although, by the way, if you are using a different game engine, I have all kinds of guides down below on how you can get these things out to other engines. There is an excellent uh, Unreal Engine to Godot plugin available as an example. Uh, you can actually see it up here. So if you want to export these out to Godot, you can do that as well. Check out those links down below. Now, the final asset in here, I uh, can't demonstrate because there's not actually a demonstration for it. It is an engine plugin, and it is called Ninja input. So it's included uh, this way. Um, you basically install it to Unreal Engine. It works with Unreal Engine 5.3 to 5.5. And let's head on over to the Fab Store uh, and we'll check out exactly what that guy is all about right now. So this is Ninja Input. Again, it is an engine plugin. Uh, it's got uh, 22 five-star reviews, so that is solid. You do have a choice of license for picking these up, by the way. Uh, if in doubt, just pick professional. Uh, these are geared to uh, what your income is as a creator. And since these are being given to you, you, you might as well just get the big one. Uh, so other than that, no real differences there. So this is a data-oriented configuration of a configuration of your input management with multiple reusable handles available. Uh, Ninja Input plugin simplifies handling player input while working with the enhanced input module. It provides many input handlers out of the box, which can be connected to your input actions and perform common tasks such as move, look, jump, or crouch. Uh, it is also integrated with gameplay ability system, enabling input handlers for all common GAS-related activations cancellation logic. You can also easily create new handlers for anything you need, either using C++ or Blueprints. On top of that, Ninja Input also includes a, a simple yet powerful animation-based input buffer, allowing handlers to be cached and triggered later on, automating detection of input types. So that is what the other thing is. Again, this is an engine plugin. You can use it with Blueprints if you wish, but also with C++, uh, and it should make implementing 
uh, input easier. It does come with well-documented code. Uh, so yeah, that is the Ninja input. And then the other two that we talked about today, we have the Valley of Gulder. Um, and as I said, available for Unreal Engine as well as Unity. So once you've bought it and purchased it, uh, you'll be able to come here and download it uh, directly this way uh, for Unity, if you wish as well. Or for Unreal Engine, you can grab it via the uh, you know, Epic Marketplace, Unreal Engine Marketplace, like normal. Uh, you do, again, have two versions available. Obviously, just pick Professional. Uh, no reason to really pick up both, by the way. Uh, so that is the Valley of Golder. And then our final one is the Post-Apocalyptic Urban City. Again, two licenses available. Interestingly enough here, they are the exact same price. So I don't know. Um, but it, it must be that they're forcing them to set them up this way. Again, just pick Pro. You are good to go. And this one is... Um, uh, set up for um, this post-apocalyptic environment uh, and there is going to be a lumen lighting update of it coming soon so if you're interested in picking that one up pretty straightforward so this month we have three assets we have the ninja input system and this is an engine plugin we have the valley of golder which is available for unity and unreal engine and of course we have the post-apocalyptic urban city which is for unreal engine only but once again check out the links down below i will have guides to exporting to various different game engines so if you want to get them from unreal engine to blender or godot or wherever i do have guides for that available for you down there so that is this month's uh, or this week's free giveaways. Let me know what you think of the fab giveaways of the general quality. Some people I think have a perception that these are worse because you're only getting three as opposed to five, but you're actually getting six a month as opposed to five plus generally one addition to the permanently free. It's kind of a different setup, but I'm curious, what do you think of this month's assets and of the fab giveaways in general? Let me know. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.